For years, no hockey players wore a helmet, and it took a player losing their life to change it. In 1933, we have our first near-death experience, when Eddie Shore hit Ace Bailey from behind. Bailey would land head first and fracture his skull, yet he would survive, and Eddie Shore would wear a helmet for the rest of his career. Guy Lafleur started his career wearing a bucket, but after three seasons, Lafleur would take the helmet off, scoring 50 or more goals in six straight seasons. In 1968, a pivotal moment happened happens when Bill Masterton is hit by two members of the Golden Seals and ended up landing straight on his head and remains the only NHLer to die from an on-ice incident. In 1979, the NHL would create a rule making helmets mandatory for all new players entering the league. But players who had entered the league before the rule was made could still go helmetless until the end of their career. Craig McTavish would be the last player to not wear a helmet, retiring in 1997. It's crazy that 